Welcome to this video for Microsoft Teams room configuration and user experience on a Cisco Desk Pro device using the WebEx beta program. As with every Cisco presentation, the material contained within this video is subject to change when these features become generally available. If you are considering using a compatible Cisco Teams room device for testing, and wish to revert back to its original settings, you should first back up the configuration otherwise skip this section. From Control Hub, select the device. Select Local Device Controls and select Launch. Proceed with the launch and accept any locally generated certificate error notifications which may appear. At the bottom of the home page, you will see Backup and Recovery option. Select Backup and ensure all the options are ticked. Save the zip file to your PC for later restoration. The restoration process is the same login procedure, however selecting Restore at the top of the screen. Then selecting the zip file which contains the backup configuration. There are four sales motions associated with Cisco video devices. The first two options relate to the native room OS experience which allow for full interoperability with other SIP-based video platforms. The two options we will discuss and demonstrate here in this video are for Microsoft Teams Room only, and Microsoft Teams Room plus WebEx, all within the native Microsoft experience. Some prerequisites required to try the Microsoft Teams Room experience with the Cisco WebEx beta program are as follows. 1. Apply for access to the beta program, at the site shown here. 2. Please provide your Microsoft Tenant ID to enable the Microsoft interconnection to be established. 3. You will need to provide either Teams Room Basic or Teams Room Pro licenses from your Microsoft subscription. And 4. Create a resource calendar per device to allow the scheduling calendar to appear on the device. Let's now look at the user experience. The familiar Microsoft icon layout will appear when the Desk Pro is registered in Microsoft Teams room mode. The wallpapers are controlled from within the device. Advanced noise removal capabilities are provided natively from the Cisco video endpoint. Some of the key differences between a Cisco Room OS and the Microsoft Teams Room experience are highlighted in red here. Please note, when the device is registered as a Teams Room device, all telephony is provided by your Microsoft Office 365 tenant. Here we see the Meet Now, as well as the Share buttons. The scheduled calendar events will appear on the right. Let us call another Teams user from the device. Simply select the Meet Now button, enter the name of the person and start meeting. The familiar Microsoft Teams icons will appear on the bottom strip of the device. Any shared content will appear in the main panel. We will demonstrate a dual screen experience a little later. Let us now demonstrate the Microsoft Whiteboard experience. Press the Whiteboard button on the device, and the Whiteboard application will appear. You can then use the touch screen capabilities to draw and annotate on the screen. In dual screen mode, I have connected these two devices via an HDMI cable and enable HDMI output from the Desk Pro. Let us join a meeting and watch content being shared from the remote participant. As you can see, the meeting participants will appear on the Desk Pro and content shared by the remote participant on the left hand screen.
we will schedule a meeting from the Outlook calendar and invite both internal and external participants. The invite will include the Desk Pro to ensure the meeting appears on the Desk Pro calendar page. This is how it appears on the Desk Pro. Now let us talk about what licenses are required for this to work. After ensuring the Cisco device is on the compatibility list, a decision should be made by customers on whether they wish to take advantage of the advanced analytics capabilities within Cisco's control hub. Customers may already have Cisco device registration licenses within their existing Flex subscription or need to purchase new licenses. We will demonstrate both registration methods a little later, showing both the recommended Cisco registration process, as well as the Microsoft-only Office 365 process. Please note, Microsoft Teams Room basic licenses are limited to 25 per tenant and do not offer advanced capabilities such as dual screen share mode. In this second method, you will need to take note of the admin password which will be displayed. This will allow you to unlock certain features within the device menu. For Control Hub registered devices, unlocking is done via the Control Hub. This table gives more details of the Microsoft Teams room licensing models and also indicates the enhanced capabilities with Cisco device cloud registration licenses. The Microsoft licenses are a mandatory requirement for the devices to be configured in Teams room mode. Cisco licenses are optional and highly recommended. This method of registration requires Cisco Flex device cloud registration licenses to be pre-applied to a customer's control hub instance. We will first create a workspace for the Desk Pro to register against and be monitored by Cisco's control hub for performance and environmental metrics. As you can see from the screen, we already have a Desk Pro registered in Teams room mode, indicated by the familiar Teams icon. Other devices registered in Room OS mode will appear with the Cisco logo. Any blank platform icons indicate a Teams Room device which has not been registered yet. Select Add Workspace to create a new workspace. Give the workspace a name and fill in the other optional fields which can be changed later, then press Next. The Desk Pro will be configured as a Cisco collaboration device, select this item and press Next. Leave the default options as they appear on the screen and press Next. The 16-digit registration code will now appear on the screen. Take note of this number as you will need it to register to the Cisco Control Hub or select email, and have the code emailed. Within the Workspace menu, the device will need to be set to the beta channel to enable the Desk Pro to download the latest software and register in Teams room mode. You should also change the lock settings option to off to allow menu selection changes on the device. This locking feature can be changed at any time via the Cisco control hub. We will now switch over to the Microsoft 365 Admin Center and create a resource account for the calendar function to appear on the device. This will also allow users to search and book the device via their directory. Select Add Resources from the top menu. Select Resource Type as Equipment, then give the resource a name. Press Save to complete the task. If we switch over to active users, you will see the device in the list. You will now have to assign it either a Teams Room Basic or Teams Room Pro license under the license option at the top. In this demo, I have an Office 365 developer account which negates this requirement. Now let us register a Desk Pro using the second option of using the Microsoft Office 365 Admin Center only. 
the same resource account creation needs to be done previously. In this example, we are simply creating the Microsoft Teams registration. Select Teams room for Android. Enter the MAC address for the device and press save. We will now register the Desk Pro by using the 16-digit code generated via the Cisco Control Hub. Select your preferred device language and set your network connectivity method. In this example, I'm using Wi-Fi. Enter the Wi-Fi password and press Enter. Set the time. Now select Register to Microsoft Teams Room option. Next, enter the 16-digit code which was generated via the Cisco Control Hub. This will firstly register the device to Control Hub, then download the Microsoft Teams Android container and register to the Office 365 Teams Admin Center. Take note of the on-screen registration code, you will need this to associate the device to your Microsoft username. We will now log into the device and authenticate using our Microsoft Office 365 credentials. In this example, the device will then be in personal mode. As you can see, the username appears on the top left hand side of the screen. We will now do a similar registration process. However, we are not registering the device to Control Hub and only to the Microsoft Teams Admin Center. Carry out the same language and network connectivity settings as we did in the previous example. Select the Microsoft Teams option. Rather than entering a 16-digit code, we select Skip to bypass the Control Hub registration. Please take note of the admin password, this is the device admin password which will unlock certain feature within the settings menu. Without this password, you will not be able to make any changes other than factory reset the device and start again. After registering the device, you can check the device appears within Control Hub or Teams Admin Center depending on the registration process taken previously. In this example, you can see the device appears in Teams Admin Center and has a status of healthy which means it is online and there are no issues. Jumping across to Cisco's Control Hub, we can see the Desk Pro is online and active. In this example, we used the 16-digit registration method for the device to appear in Control Hub. Cisco announced we would be releasing the Microsoft Teams Room software on a subset of existing and new video endpoints. The beta program which this demo has been a part of, has offered Teams Room functionality natively on the Cisco Board Pro and Desk Pro. At the end of March and into April, Cisco will make available this feature to the Cisco Board Pro 55 and 75 inch devices, the Room Kit Pro and the Room Bar. Towards the middle of calendar year 2023, the Desk Pro will go into general availability as a Teams display as well as the Cisco Navigator which will become a Teams panel for room bookings. Please note, when ordering Cisco video devices, there is not a separate hardware part number to order these Teams Rooms devices. Any existing compatible devices can be converted to become Teams Room native devices. Before we go, we would like to remind you, Cisco devices which are not Teams Room native compliant can leverage cloud video interop and allow any of the Cisco SIP based endpoints to join a Microsoft Teams meeting. Customers can leverage both the native Teams Room registered devices as we have shown here or CVI for older devices to enable them to join a Microsoft Teams meeting. Remember, 
The native Cisco Room OS experience allows customers to join any SIP-based video meeting including Teams. Alternatively, Teams Room registered devices have the same Microsoft look and feel as other devices on the market with the added benefit of the advanced video and audio capabilities which are built into the hardware. Thank you for your time today and enjoy the all-new Teams Room registered devices from Cisco.